Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Yakuza Kiwami on the Serious JG. Tweak the volume settings a little. Didn't bother to do a test recording because I didn't. I don't think I tweaked them far enough to make a huge difference. Game sound seemed a little soft to me last time. It's all right, maybe we'll figure it out. Now let's hold up. Ah, God damn it! I put my remote out of reach. Let's uh, continue our quest to find the quest that we abandoned. Even though the game made it sound like there was a time limit, but I didn't believe that was a real thing. Let's see if we can rescue the guy. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah, no worries. He stole something from us, didn't he? Hey, my money's gone. All right, let's go talk to the lady he also stole from from a clue. Damn it, that guy was a pickpocket. My wallet's gone. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, you were pickpocketed too? Yes, when I looked away for a second, a man bumped into me. The next thing I knew, my wallet was missing. Jesus, that was worse sometimes. Can you remember what the guy looked like? Let's see, he was wearing glasses and a gray suit, and over that, he had a beige coat. Glasses, gray suit, and beige coat. Right, he seemed to be running towards... Shichifuku Street. Got it. Leave it to me. I'll find and catch him. Oh no, my Christmas bonus was in there. Can't allow him to victimize any more people. I'll start looking around Shichifuku Street. Well. I mean, this one probably ain't going... It's probably worth dealing with this one now. Maybe we can even lose these guys. And then search. Okay. He said beige coat over a gray suit, and he had glasses. That was kind of beigey, but I kind of expect he won't be moving around. Oh, fuck you guys. All right, they're, they're, they're just going to continue to be there, so I better just deal with them. Forgetting all my sweet combos here. I can't believe I let that happen. Shame on me. Oh well, picked up a whop at going for a super fancy finish and uh, I just snuck in there and broke my guard and punched me in the face. That's on me. Hey, you're wearing a gray coat. Are you the male pickpocket? Did you guys just get pickpocketed? This is, I mean, we're still on Shichifuchu Street West. We could have come all the way over here. Hey, Nouveau Riche, do you understand? Do you understand? Do you know what happened? Do you understand the concept of pickpocketing? Yeah, I just got the square and triangle mixed up in that combo. That's why it wasn't working out earlier. Because like the kick is like a big hit that doesn't that doesn't combo if it's the first hit. You open all your combos with a uh, punch. Are you back for more? They don't usually stick around. Like they disappear off the map when you defeat them. I can't pick another fight with them, so car. Oh god damn! I see. There's no real. There's no point in avoiding. Because like, if I have to search the area, it's. Oh, that's a good one. We don't see that one that often. Let's see if we can do that again. Well, I need to get some heat back first. For some reason, I thought I would have heat after doing a move like that. Go figure. Yeah, I thought I was going to do something special with the trunk, but it's more of the same. Same old shit. Same old shit. Oh, this guy's got heat. How good for him.
been it. Patient should wait for him to get up. He's having kind of a casual day. Yeah, this guy, uh, there's this guy out there who needs medicine or he's gonna die, but we deal with his pickpocket now. I mean, if you catch me while I'm searching for this guy, so be it, but... Oh, maybe this might this might actually be where he is, because there's a try or an exclamation point here. There he is. Oh, he was a decoy. I thought the pickpocket came this way. Mm. Bunch of guys there wear the same outfit. Well, no, they've got the beige coats. It was a gray suit. Need to remember the pickpocket's description. Guy's not wearing glasses. Guy doesn't have a gray suit. This guy, is he wearing glasses? No. Oh, you are wearing glasses. Mm. Yeah, that's the guy. Is this the pickpocket? Accuse him! Now, I do wonder what happens if you accuse the wrong guy, but whatever. Hey, you're the pickpocket. Give me back my money. And that lady's Christmas bonus. Oh, so you see through my special stealth technique that you can't see the tree for the forest ability. Huh. Hiding in plain sight's kind of obvious. <laughs> but I have no intention of giving back the money so easily. Then. What? Now you'll face the secret art of assassination, passed down to me by my father from generations of master thieves. Okay, menacing man. Boy, oh, that didn't hit. Yeah, you don't get to do the throw technique if uh, you don't connect with the kick. So, so your father was also a pickpocket. Heck, I'm really sorry. I won't do this anymore. I swear. I'm gonna get out of this business. So please forgive me. You got seventy thousand yen. What about the lady's Christmas money? And you return the money to your other victims? Of course, yes, of course. Right away. Okay, bye. Well, I look glad I could trust him to do the right thing. Let's send a message to pickpockets and Camarocho. Don't steal from me and you'll be fine because I will follow up after getting my own money back. All right. Uh... Kyushu number one star is down here, so we will check that out before we advance to the main story. But in the meantime, I'm hoping I haven't... Oh, there's a Nouveau Riche. Like, did I accidentally equip something that makes them appear? That's enough to get these guys mad. They're not used to anybody stepping up. I didn't even get to do the, the throw part of the combo because he didn't last long enough. Yeah, the Nouveau Reach do not appear to have powered up, because uh, they are available early in the game if you spend completion points on them. They do not appear to have powered up since then. It's possible they don't even drop that much money uh, compared to current enemies. I don't really haven't paid that much attention. I don't really haven't paid that much attention. This is Club Sega. I don't know why... I don't know what could be going on here. It doesn't seem like the place where the quest to find the meds for that guy would be, but it's possible. So let's continue our investigation. I don't particularly want to play any more Messu King with these kids. Just want to buy this crazy rare bill I got? Okay. I'm not trying to change UFO catcher prizes. There was speech coming from your general direction. Oh, but it's this guy. He's an unlikable youth. He's probably like a big Ron Paul supporter. Hey man, I got a crazy rare piece of money here. It's called 2,000 yen bill. You want to take it off my hands for 5,000 yen? That's 
actually, that's more than it's worth, but less than I'm going to get paid for. So why not? Takanasha is going to pay me 20,000 yen later, so I guess paying 5,000 for it should be fine. Uh, sure, I'll buy the bill off you. Pick 5,000 yen. Excuse me, bought a 2,000 yen bill. Thanks for doing business and no refunds, even if half the country doesn't take it. No, do not get lured in by these uh, children of the corn kids. They want to suck you into the nightmare world of Rumble Roach's Messy King. Bright lights, city lights. I'm in love with the Messy King. Bad new plants, Oh, you guys might be the types who stole medicine. Well, I'm in the theater squad. He, he said they were wearing tracksuits, right? Nanny. Nanny. A tracksuit mafia. What color was I looking for again? I need to make sure I approach the right duo. Well, they're playing this game with us again. The problem is, I didn't run it right after the guys like I probably should have. Mesu King prevented me from actually really paying the attention I should have. The price of an F cup. Molestation accusation. Bump and scam the epilogue. Yeah, there's a lot of that, wasn't there? We gotta find something that is still open. The medicine go. Hey, this place is full of guys' track suits. Now, how did Kazumi describe. Ah, yeah, see, we're gonna, we're gonna pay a price for our ignorance here. Those two could be the guys. Should I say something? Approach them. As those are the guys. Time to confront them. Hey, you guys. What? Something you need, man? Go get back the bag you stole. You guys recently stole a bag. I need it back. Uh, what are you talking about? You trying to start a fight? What a dumb old man. Let's beat his ass. Well, I have to worry about them not being delinquents. Okay, I messed up my combo, but it's probably just for the best, because I didn't waste the heat. <coughs> oh, ow, hand over the bag you stole. I don't know what you're talking about. Are you sure you have the right guys? I mean, if they all just... I guess it was mistaken. If they all just result in fights, then... Those two good, good guys, should I say something? It's not like we're going to lose all of our health because we called one of them ugly and got slapped. Boy. Hey, you guys. Uh, what do you want, old man? We talk a lot like those other generic mafias. Get back the bag you stole. You guys recently stole a bag. I need it back. Huh? And you come after us all alone? Yeah, I figured it was... I thought I remembered their, their, their suits matching in color, which is why I left the two unmatched guys for last. <laughs> hey, get what a brave guy. Too bad you couldn't end up giving all your shit to us. I mean, your shit. We want your shit, old man. We sell it to the fertilizer company. Oh, yeah. Well, how about... Oh, man, I thought there was another Wapit over there for me to grab. Oh, I didn't even... Uh, Rob Van Dam kick here, except it's a punch. Again, I didn't get to finish the fancy combo, because they're not strong enough to survive the setup hits. Damn, man, I'll give you back the bag. Forgive us, please. Got the dying man's bag. We'll be going now. Yeah, that's right. You better run. I gotta go find that dime. I got the bag of the medicine, so better get back to Koizumi as soon as I can. Now that I got the medicine, time to go to Devil Law and see what's going on there. <laughs> yeah, now that I know that the quest is still open, I can get back down to him. Hit Kyushu number one star. Hit the place where he's at. Oh, we gotta drop off another 200,000 yen bill. It never stops, guys. But we're pretty close, I think, to doing the available daylight quests. We might be about to finish all the damn side quests if I was reading. Oh, sorry about that, ma'am. I... Can I make it up to you by uh, rescuing this woman? Which I normally wouldn't bother to do, but now I feel a little bad. Get him, boys. There's a light in shining a hammer from a long time ago. <laughs> Oh, wow, that guy's got some powerful evasion attacks. Alright, alright, alright. 
Come on. Here, get up. I'm hitting the wrong button. That would be why it's not working. Stop with that nonsense. I, I, I'm over the little grapple attacks that this guy thinks he's got. Oh, that guy's got a knife. Probably want to get our shit straight with this. Oh, I didn't even realize I'd killed the second guy. The, the, the match ended when I beat to death the third guy. And by beat to death, I mean didn't. Hey, thanks. Here's, this is for your help. Got a slightly battered stun gun. Well, why didn't you use this on them yourself? I mean, it's lady, come on. You know, female empowerment. You got the stun gun. You got to be able to use it, too. Yeah, whatever. I mean, I can't. She's not. She wasn't in a good spot. I shouldn't be blaming the victim. Club Debula. And I'm excited. By the end of this weekend's videos, we'll actually will be in the main plot at this rate. Now, I was in here because some guys were bothering... Oh, no, no. It's you again. Hmm? What's your problem? You stalking me or something? I mean, hustle, loyalty, respect you. I don't really do a John Cena voice, but... No, why would I do that? Whatever. You're crazy, man. What are you doing here? I'm trying to do like uh Thugonomics John Cena that you know He came back he came back once a couple years ago as Thugonomics John Cena after years of not being Thugonomics John Cena and I think the crowd reaction was a little tepid. Like he's like, nah, we don't got the same nostalgia as we for that as we do for some things. Oh, I'm looking for Takahashi. You know where I could find him? No, what if I did? So you're saying you won't tell me for free? <laughs> Damn straight, nothing in this world is free, Holmes. Maybe he's Eddie Guerrero. What do you want, then? If I kick the shit out of you, you'd know I could. Uh. Hmm, tell you what. You bring me a tuna egg sandwich, and I'll tell you where Takahashi is. Mm. Sorry, but I've got nothing for you. And I can't tell you where Takahashi is. Damn, I can't believe I have to give this clown a sandwich. Why don't you just beat his ass? Mm. Oh, you got a tuna egg sandwich for me? Mm. Sorry, but I've got nothing for you. Yeah, it never even occurs to us to just beat his ass. I mean, honestly, it would be kind of bad. It's kind of fun for, like, super badass Monster Man Kiryu to just show up with a tuna sandwich. But instead of fighting these guys, but... It feels like we should be able to sort circuit this quest. Fallout 3 would have some speech option where we could uh, buy him a tuna fish sandwich. We could do a speech check. Or we could just kill him and take... The information out of his brain i guess i guess that's one fallout thing where they don't just uh that is a fallout thing where you, like you killing the quest giver is not usually a way to short circuit the quest cafe gobblers was it called what kind of gobblers i'm really starting to think there is this uh equipment i'm wearing that's supposed to make it harder easier to avoid enemies is not worth a damn So leech gloves and being better, like we'll just make them as trivially fast as we can, and I'll still try generally to avoid them. But I'm not feeling a, a meaningful change in how often those po fights pop up. Welcome. Please tell me you sell tuna fish sandwich. Okay, I did not want to have to go shopping around different places. The micro machine, the micro machine man, this is Japan. I gotta go to the list. Tatatatrokan, Shoyukan, Tatatatrokan. Tatatatrokan. Oh. Navigating round the world, avoiding fights when I can. It's not often that you can. Kiryu lives in a world of violence. Kind of lost the meter at the end of that made-up song, but... Mm -hmm. Oh, you got me a tuna fish egg sandwich. A tuna egg sandwich. I do have one, but should I? Yes! Is this what you wanted? Hand over tuna egg sandwich. <laughs> Score a sandwich. It's my jam, man. Tuna fish and egg. I mean, you got to get a little mayo and mustard in there, but, uh... Yeah, I, I can dig it. I'm happy for you. Now tell me where I can find Takahashi. 
Oh, right, so I'm heading to the batting cages with this girl. I guess I said I promised I wouldn't go to the batting cages. I guess this game's made a liar out of me right away. Back to the batting cages, huh? Got it, thanks. Hey, anytime, homie. Anytime you bring me a tuna fish and egg sandwich, bitch. <laughs> Must not kill. Possibly plot character later. Although he does appear to have been demoted from main plot to side quest because, uh... I want to say he was part of the main quest with these same guys when we were helping the, uh... Shadow Broker. Where are the batting cages? Batting cages are... Uh, up here. Oh, and they're marked as a side quest location for ease of use. Ooh! This is dumb. You're damn right it is. Like, have you learned nothing from the other thugs on the streets of Kamarocho? Is this Kamarocho? Is Kamarocho with a... Like a dragon set? I think this is Kamarocho. They both, they're both set in fictional areas. Like, this is a fictional uh, area of Tokyo, I believe. And Kam the one from Like a Dragon is a fictional area in Yokohama. I came because I heard Takahashi might be here, but is he? Was I suckered out of a tuna and egg sandwich? They had, like, three guys all dressed like Takahashi appear and got to figure out who's the correct one. Looks like I found them. Now I just have to give them the matching bowls I got from Ichi. Oh, this is this guy who will let me play the batting cages mini game, which I don't want to do right now. Kyoko, we should be gone soon. We should go soon. You're right, Doc. Doc, I mm -hmm. Hey, huh? Oh, you're the guy from before. Kiryu san, right? We owe you a lot for what you did. We have no plans to repay you, however. That's okay, Denim Queen. We've decided to leave town. I'll never forget what you did for us, but it's time we moved on. Yeah, I see. My body's been replaced by the back of your girlfriend's head. So what's up? Came all the way here for a reason, right? Yeah, I just came to do some batting. I didn't know you guys would be here. I want to give you something. I'm here because I want to give you two something. Gave away the matching Mashiko Yaki Bowls. This is some kind of death message from the Ninja Empire here, right? Did he not even think about that? Uh, matching bowls? These are for me? I don't get it. Those bowls? Where have I heard those bowls? Could it be? Kyoka, you know what this means? They're the ones I gave to my father, Kiryu-san. Where did you get these? I got them from a guy named Ichi of the Otobe family. He said you understand if you saw them. I see. Dad these kept these bowls after all these years. When I was a kid, I gave these to my dad to make a point about how he'd been ignoring my mom all the time. You wouldn't use matching bowls unless you're reading together, right? I'll never forget the sadness in his face when he opened them up. Is this his way of giving us his blessing? We'll have to take care of these, right, Kyoko-chan? No, I think this is his way of saying that he and I are no longer involved in any way, and he's disowned me. Both of us, together. Takahashi, heart. Kyoko-san, like I said earlier, we're about to leave town. We'll go somewhere far away and start over. I want to make sure they know that I got the message from Kyoko's father. I'm taking this seriously now. Up until this very moment, I was planning to pimp her out when we got to our new town. <laughs> Could you tell them that? Uh. Yeah, got it, I guess, if one of them randomly walks up to me as part of a plot event. I have an idea. Could you give this to Ichi-san? It's, it's, a uh, gold bond medicated power. I'm hoping it will help Ichi-san with his Ichi problems. Received Kyoka's ring. A ring? Once we settle down, we'll come and visit Dad, and he can return it to me when we do. Maybe. We'll have a new family member by then. Heart! Kyoka! Heh, <laughs> you're so cute. But you know I'm barren. No, she would be barren. He would be... Uh, there's a term. I mean, fertility is... Uh, for male or female. But when you're a woman and you and you can't conceive, you're barren. I forget what they say for impotent, I guess. Which doesn't seem fair, because that's mixed in with the ability to maintain an erection. Which is not the ability, it's the same to get someone pregnant. Let's have more impo impot impotency erection talk for the rest of this video. Kyoku, you're so cute. Kyoku, son, thank you for coming all this way out here for us. So the damn quest still not over? I guess I gotta go tell Itchy. Don't forget to give my ring to Itchy, or you won't get credit for frequently the quest. It's like that mystery science theater thing from Gongari. Listen, I know his I know his name is Itchy, but isn't this a little on the nose? <laughs> all right, well, it's handy enough. We turn because this is roughly where I remember encountering that guy. 
we hand him the ring, then we can get the, the darts, then uh, call it a video, get some uh, visit the secret casino, or whatever under Kyushu number one star in the back room. Do everything possible except return that guy's medicine before returning his medicine. And before the next video is over, there's a real good chance that we'll be at Ryujin Hall. But I'm not going to call this one early. I'm going to... Uh, oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. Power. Yes. Power. I'm going to try and uh, wrap up this. Oh, guys, guys, guys. There'll be plenty more of me wandering around getting into those random fights while hoping for Majima fights later. For now, tobacco department. Is that like a government agency? Did we find the Japanese version of ATF headquarters? Huh? I guess I, I might have been able to evade them, but... That guy survived that. I am impressed. Glad you got that power-up psych-out at the end there. Made you look really cool right before you died from what I was going to do to you anyway. So we both... Oh, that guy looks like the guy who helped me with the uh, fake cop. We both sort of f flew around each other missing, but eventually I landed a hit and ended the fight. No, they don't get it. Those bulls were an indication of the fact that we're going to kill them. I have to give this ring to this guy named Ichi. That guy named Ichi. Hey! Ah, Kiryu-san. So how are you faring? Have you perchance located the whereabouts of the lady? The L.A.D. Wen Nam is not shy, and I did find her. Uh. Yeah, I found her. She gave me this. It's for you. Well, it's probably for your boss, really. Gave away Kyoka's ring. Yeah. This is no mistake about it. It's, it's the lady's ring. That means you gave her the matching bowls? <laughs> I'm so pleased. And where is she right now? She said she's leaving town. Mm -hmm. The promise that she'll come back, and when she does, Atobi can return the ring to her. Oh, wholesome music. Is that so? The young lady, she's really something. If it wasn't for her uh, love for that dude, well, let me tell you. Oh, oh. And from Tagahashi, I want to make sure you know that I got the message from Kyoka's dad. That's what he said. Hmm. Looks like that young lad is finally willing to step up. Thanks to you. Thank you very much, Kiryu-san. As for me, your message has reached me loud and clear. Mm. You've done a lot, sir. Not just for me, but for my family. I'm firm to bank. This is a token of appreciation from the Atobe family. Please accept it with our humblest of gratitude. And he stabs you in the gut. You got the gambler's finding. Heh. <laughs> this town and its people have more honor and humanity than the rumors led me to believe. Go take advantage of them with this gambling uh, uh, improvement device. Well, please excuse me. Thank you for everything, Kiri-san. We will repay this kindness one day. Well, you just gave me a very fancy item, it looked like. Sometimes people just need to walk their own path. As a man, you've taken one large step forward, Takashi. I hope you can stay on that path without losing your way. Yup. That's what I hope for. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, we can level up again. But let's uh, let's go to the pool hall and uh, return yet another twenty thousand yen bill. This quest being much easier than I initially feared when I realized that oh they just mark everyone on the map for you. Boy. It's basically a run, step, to fetch quest. Hey. Oh, oh I've been waiting for you, Kiryu Chan. Can I see that two thousand yen bill? Uh. Yeah. You're the best, Kiryu Chan. You already tracked three of them down. Will you give it to me? Hmm. Will there be new dialogue if I say don't hand it over this time? That we haven't already seen? Probably not. Uh. Here you go. <laughs> ah, thank you. There's a little token of my appreciation. That's promised. 200,000 yen. This time it's 200,000. Sorry, this time it has to be 23,000 yen because I had to pay money. <laughs> <laughs> this is going far better than I thought it would. Only two more. Keep up the great work. I figured you'd be busy trying to advance the main story, but apparently not. You're a psychopath who doesn't care about the safety of, like, Haruka or yourself or... Your mentor, finding out what's going on with your brother. It's like, how do you know about any of that? Oh, I'm a huge JG fan. I even watched, uh... I even watched Lennis 2. Well, that's where I know you're lying. No one watched Lennis 2. All right, guys, when we come back next time... <laughs>
And that's not like a tr that's not a trick to get you to watch Lennon's two either. It's 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 years past. I I really enjoyed that game. It, that's not a trick. I don't care. You can go watch it if you want to. It's fine. But when we come back next time, we'll be continuing this game, which is a slightly different flavor from Lennon's two, but sadly has far less of Sir Ferris the actor Reagan. Catch you guys next time.